One of the most important nutrients for your crops is sulfur, but it's not talked about all that often, in part, I think, because we used to get all the free sulfur we needed from air pollution. Well, now that our air is cleaner and the fact that our yields are going higher, you need to add sulfur to most of your crops every single year. Well, I liked what you said there, Brandon. The air is cleaner, that's a positive. Our yields are higher, that's a positive. So what? We gotta spend just a little bit more yeah, money the point, on fertilizer. Yeah, but the point is people aren't doing it. I mean, are you putting sulfur out on your crop every year like you need to? I, I, I mean, don't forget, Soybeans need a lot of sulfur too, okay? So if you're just fertilizing your corn, you figure, oh, I have enough left over for my soybeans. Well, and Probably that is a common not, mistake. Because sulfur, nitrogen, and boron are leachable. So if you've got a crop that needs a lot of one of those nutrients, you've got to fertilize every single year, not every other year or every fourth year with sulfur. I see many guys doing that though, Brian, where they're looking at grass crops are going to need the sulfur. I'm going to put it out of my wheat. I'm going to put it out yep. of my corn. And they forget about soybeans and sunflowers and some of the broadleaf crops out there because they think, oh, I don't need as much sulfur, but right. it all, all depends on what your yield goal is. Well, you need sulfur no matter what. The point is you need more the higher your yield goal is. So a lot of guys are complaining because, well, I'm only getting 40 or 50 bushel beans just like I did 30 years ago. Well, you know what? We've raised some 75 bushel beans on our farm, but you know how many pounds of sulfur 75 bushel soybeans need? About 30 pounds of sulfur. Well, if you're not putting out at least 10 or 15 pounds of sulfur to supplement what your organic matter is releasing every year, how is that sulfur going to get there? It's not just magically going to appear. So you've got to fertilize for what that crop needs. Now, how do we get the sulfur out there? Because a lot of guys will say, well, I've been using ammonium thiosulfate as a carrier for my pre-corn herbicide. What can I do in soybeans to get sulfur out there? Well, there are a whole bunch of ways you can get sulfur out there, and you can use it as a carrier for your soybean herbicide, too. That's what we do on our farm. If we're going to put Prowl or Sonalan or Treflan or sometimes even Valor Authority out there, we're using fertilizer as the carrier. So, yeah, you can use ammonium thiosulfate. You can use dry ammonium sulfate. But you can also get sulfur out there with manure. Lime sources. There are a lot of lime sources that will have a bunch of sulfur in there. There are a whole bunch of different ways. So many fertilizers do have sulfur in there, even some 1050O that you may say, well, it's just MAP, it's just nitrogen and phosphorus. Well, talk to your fertilizer dealer. In some of those MAP sources, there's also some sulfur in there. So there are a lot of different ways to get it out there. You just may have to be a little bit creative. And again, you don't need a whole lot. Your soil's probably already got a little. Your organic matter is going to release some during the year. You might only need an additional five or 10 pounds to raise a great soybean crop. Just don't forget about it. All right, the immediate question is, do I put it on in the fall or am I so worried about leaching I need to wait till spring? Uh, that's a good question. Depends on your area. In our area, we don't get much rain in the fall or the spring or for that matter the summer. So I don't really care. I'll throw it out in the fall. But if you're in an area that gets heavy rainfall and you don't have a big time winter like we do, so you have water moving in the soil all through the winter time, you're probably going to want to wait with that sulfur until spring. Well, sulfur is certainly an important nutrient. It's not N, P, and K, the primary nutrients, but it is in the class of the secondary nutrients, which are very important for crops, and you do need a substantial amount. So don't forget sulfur in your fertilizer program this year. Well, another thing not to forget is to control weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to do it coming up next.